Hello people, my name is Zaina and sorry for the mess in my background, but tomorrow I have a surgery. It's a crazy surgery from a Western perspective because you guys think, huh, do women even do this kind of surgery? And no, it's not a boob job or a nose job or anything like this. No. Okay, so let me give you a few hints. Number one, this surgery is going to take me seven hours. Number two, I have not seen any videos about the surgery done in this way on YouTube. Zero videos, in English at least. And so the surgery is hair transplant for women. Specifically, I'm gonna change my hairline. So it's gonna start from here. Anyway, tomorrow you will see better because they will design again. They will, you know, draw uh, <laughs> the hairline, right? and. So yeah, I'm gonna add up. It's about 2,500 units and uh, I'm gonna share the cost later. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about why I'm doing the surgery. I'm gonna be talking about the uh, process because tomorrow for all these hours, I'm gonna film myself. Yes, oh, it's gonna be crazy. I'm so freaking nervous. Like this is, I just finished the, the full box of watermelon in in five minutes and uh yeah i'm so freaking stressed um anyway number three of course i'm gonna share uh, the price the clinic and everything like this it is now around 10 p.m i have to go to sleep tomorrow uh the surgery starts at 9 a.m in the morning i have to have breakfast before that basically i have to wake up i don't know i haven't planned it <laughs> i need to buy something for breakfast okay i have some jackfruit which I ordered. Okay, I'm gonna order another uh, fruit food delivery. <sighs> so guys, wish me luck. Everything is gonna be filmed. The clinic is gonna film uh, the whole process uh, as well. <sighs> nervous, 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 nervous. Oh, and before I go, let me tell you why I'm doing the surgery. Well, it's because of the, you know, well, my forehead is big, you know, and I feel like I need it to be around four fingers. As you guys all know, Asian beauty standards are way more, uh, are way stricter, okay? And um, yeah, living here for already the fifth year, these beauty standards are impacting me. And I have been thinking of this surgery for around a year. And just recently I made the decision to finally do this. Um, yes, it's not like it's completely necessary. It's not that, you know, my hairline starts here, but still I sometimes have to Photoshop my, <laughs> Photoshop my uh, forehead to make it smaller, right? And uh, you know, things like this. So I, completely hate it. I know like maybe in the West you would think, eh, if you, if I didn't tell you that I have a big forehead, maybe you wouldn't even notice. But in the West, you know, I see, you know, like a lot of celebrities with big foreheads and it's completely normal, but I live in Asia. <laughs> okay, guys, don't judge me. Don't judge me. Yes, I, I gave up. Yes. And I'm going to do this surgery. Yeah, so let's see. I hope I will become 1% prettier in uh, maybe three months. I'm sure tomorrow I'm going to be super ugly and it's going to be a lot of blood in my forehead. and It's going to be painful. I am pain. I have pain intolerance. Even like when they take uh, blood, when they draw blood, I'm like, oh, I'm going <laughs> to... Um, it's so painful, you know? So, and tomorrow it's going to be fucking 10, 10 injections of anesthesia. 10 10 injections in my head guys yeah okay see you guys tomorrow now finally see you guys tomorrow so yeah wish me luck bye Okay, so I'm not allowed to film the surgery procedure, um, but I can do the before, how they are gonna, you know, like design everything. So you see here, I don't have much hair. Maybe you see, maybe you don't. Look at this. Sorry for my skin condition. Yeah.
是长出来的，因为单亲。Alright, so it's day six after the surgery. Let me share with you my feelings, whether I am satisfied with the result, number one, and whether I am uh, satisfied with the service, with the doctor, how well the procedure went, <laughs> because all that time I was awake and uh, I, you know, experienced everything over there. So let me share it with you guys. And also I will share with you, as I promised, the costs of this procedure, everything that was included, the medicine and everything. And uh, I'll share with you some other thoughts on this procedure. Okay, the funny thing is I now it looks really really ugly, right? I cannot, you know, if I go outside people would notice that I'm, you know, I did this procedure and it looks really really weird. So I bought the fake hair and this is what it would look like. I didn't set it up really really well. You know guys, if this is how I'm gonna look like after the hair is grown, um I don't even know what to say. I just look like Neanderthal. And uh, the worst thing is, let me take it off. I hope it's not gonna grow like this, but I just realized that, you know, a little bit later I'm going home and um, I don't know what my parents, how they will react to this. Not every procedure can make you look prettier, I guess. I'm still swollen, I know, and uh, I shouldn't judge by the result of the fake hair. You know, a lot of people in my comments tell me that I had a lot of procedures done, and uh, honestly, before this surgery, I never even had an injection, a single injection done to my face. Anyway, am I satisfied with the result? Final answer no final answer because i have no idea what it's gonna look like after half a year yes but so far so far is just like this and after 20 days uh they're gonna fall off it's a long freaking journey it's a long freaking journey and i look so freaking ugly i need to take pictures i need to film videos but how am i gonna do this when i have this that's why i bought fucking fake hair but i look so stupid with fake hair so that's the problem anyway let's talk about the pain as well so uh the procedure lasted for seven hours and during those seven hours i was awake yes first they plug the hair from the back and i'm gonna show you the video of my back because now it's like i don't have hair in the back do you guys know do you guys know i have no hair in the back yeah but yeah but it's just like and now it became also very very itchy so it's very itchy and there is that skin peeling off there is blood, uh, I mean, already dry blood out of there and stuff like this. Of course, when it when there was anesthesia, it was not painful, but it was painful when they, uh, you know, when they injected anesthesia, especially here, because the skin here is so thin, you know, and there were a lot of like needles. I, I said in the beginning that it's gonna be 10 anesthesia, you know, uh, injections, but I think it was like, 20 over 20 uh <laughs> i have no idea but it was a lot i remember it was freaking a lot all right and um it was not painful during the procedure and when anesthesia uh faded away it was uncomfortable let me tell you and also i need to sleep on i, I had to sleep on my back which i'm not used to that much and i was scared you know to maybe sleep on the side because then <laughs> the result of the surgery i, I was afraid that it's gonna you know mess up so i would say it's not painful it's literally like you would go to a dentist and uh, you would uh, you know remove a wisdom tooth although for some people it's really painful for me it wasn't during anesthesia you just still feel what's going on and after the anesthesia fades away you also feel the, the numbness right in that area so here's the 
the same thing but the thing is it's already day six and i still feel like anesthesia is fading away i still feel like you know this area is still freaking numb here and on the back it is already becoming itchy since yesterday so i would say the feeling is just like it's freaking uncomfortable and i just look ugly this is the uncomfortable yes two points next point i paid a lot of money uh, so that my surgery would be performed by the uh, best doctor and that best doctor yes he did uh, plug my hair from the back and it took him th around three two two three hours and then what happened was they switched you know they switched they switched and the hair that's in that's in the front they these were performed by the two nurses not by the doctor and i was awake guys okay and i was like where's the doctor where's the doctor who i paid for and they were just like oh he is tired yes we cannot uh, he cannot perform the surgery for the length of the surgery which is like six seven hours yes and i was like mm, okay but can you just imagine if this is what is done under you know the local anesthesia when the patient is awake what can be done if you are completely turned off if you are completely sleeping if it's performed under general anesthesia you have you literally have no freaking idea which doctor is operating on you this is so scary this is such a scary point you have no idea what's going on and i was like wow wow shit this is the point you really need to think about if you're gonna go uh you know perform another you know like pl plastic surgery you have no guarantee that the doctor you agreed on is gonna perform that surgery this is scary okay now let's talk about the cost of this surgery the cost of the surgery is thirty-four thousand rmb 34,000 RMB it is around $4,700. I know guys, maybe in Turkey you can do it for one or $2,000. And even here in China, some procedures are performed for 20,000 RMB, which is around $3,000. Three thousand dollars, but I don't want to risk. You know, I have a friend who you know did a hair transplant, and then he had to redo the hair transplant. So I don't want to go through this procedure twice. I want to deal it once and for all, and I'd rather pay more than pay less and get you know some unwanted results. Okay, one more thing to add. Uh, of course, I'm not allowed to drink for one month. No smoking. No drinking. I don't smoke that's okay but drinking sometimes I do drink a glass of wine here and there every other day you know uh, <laughs> yeah so it's a little bit disappointing as well I hope this hair is worth it you know anyway uh, and also I'm not allowed to drink uh, to eat beef lamb seafood spicy spicy food and uh, yeah that's it these four things i'm surprised that i'm not allowed to eat beef and lamb like you know uh, and uh, they explained it that because i need to like this way i can avoid itching and i don't know and also i should like most of the time i should lie flat in order to avoid swelling and as you guys think see now i'm still like i'm still bruised like even when i press here yo it's really really painful and uh another thing i noticed is that when they draw the design it was really really symmetrical but now when i look at it it's not but again maybe it's because it's due to swelling maybe i have no idea anyway let's see guys three months later six, six months later whether i am satisfied with the results and but that's all for today i'm gonna finish my drink non-alcoholic <laughs> and go to sleep see you guys in the next video bye bye